Greetings, good people. All right, I want to talk about Sherry Shepard and Sexy Red, okay? So Sherry Shepard was on The Breakfast Club, and she talked about a myriad of things. She talked about her recent C-19 diagnosis. She also talked about her talk show. Uh, she chatted a little bit about her personal life. She had a breast reduction recently as well, so she talked about that, right? So she talked about a whole bunch of stuff. So they started talking about sex. I don't know how the conversation transitioned into them talking about uh, sex, but Sherry Shepard started saying that men think about sex all the time, right? So she says it doesn't matter. The baby could be crying. They could have got a job from a, a job promotion. They could have lost their job. They could be depressed and they always are down to have the S E X. Okay. So Charlemagne asked her, you know, what turns you on or, or what stimulates you? You know, Sherry Shepard is 56. She's a woman of a particular age. And she said, basically great conversation is one of the things that turns her on. Right. Um, she says great conversations, things that are sexy to me is when you are committed and when you are ambitious, I love a man that is creative. She said, because physically I'm practical. Okay. You can't be throwing me up in the air and think my knee going to stay in place. So like you gotta, you know, I, I'm one of those fragile dolls that been on the shelf with the fine China. You gotta be careful with me. And that is when DJ Envy said, so you're not trying to go to pound town. So you don't want pound town. And then Sherry was like, no, 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 no. And then she, you know, touched her face and said she just heard the lyrics to that song. Pound Town is Sexy Red's viral hit single, rapper Sexy Red, that you see their picture to the right on the screen. Sherry Shepard says she just heard the lyrics and she says, what are these girls talking about nowadays? Okay. She, I think it was Charlemagne that said, so Sexy Red is not going to be coming to the Sherry Shepard show anytime soon. Now, she didn't say it in a malicious way. I think what she was trying to say is that Sexy Red's audience is not Sherry Shepard's demographic. That's what I think she was trying to say. She wasn't being disrespectful. And then of course the conversation went into talking about, you know, what female rappers are talking about today versus what they talked about back in the day. All right, so let's take a quick listen to what it is she had to say. All right, let's cue this up. Like to hear, here you go. Pussy pink booty hole. Oh my brown. God, I was like, what are these girls <laughs> talking about nowadays? When you're talking about your booty hole, be sexy to people. You got when... never on daytime TV. Sexy no, got... no, <laughs> no. So Charlemagne said, you've got to have her on daytime TV. She said, no, no, no. Now see, Charlemagne is always trying to be funny. He knows good and well that Sexy Red is not for daytime television, especially a show like Sherry Shepard where she doesn't get into the mess. Um, she tries to keep it extremely, she does actually keep it extremely positive. She's a comedian and she wants to have a good time. So Charlemagne was messy. Because she's gonna be like this auntie. Okay, come on, old lady. What is wrong? When did just get money and, and get showing your booty hole to dudes become sexy? So me, I come from the school of let him imagine something. Don't just come and show him every day. Don't just when did your booty become like the emphasis now? That's not fair though, because our generation So that's when they started going into talking about uh back in the nineties, there was little Kim and Sherry Shepard agreed, and she went on to say, you know, there was a balance because there was Queen Latifah, there was Lauren Hill. Um, who else did she mention? Erica Badu and Charlemagne said, well, we have Rhapsody now. And Sh Sherry Shepard said, well, we don't have enough Rhapsodies. I don't think it's that we don't have enough Rhapsodies. It's not what's being pushed and promoted. This foolishness type of rap music is being pushed you know it's it's microwave music um i did a hot topics video earlier today where diddy was criticizing the lack of production in music and then i went on to you know talk about how it's pretty much the microwave society like one minute the song is hot the next minute it's out because these record companies are just looking for a quick buck so the real writers the real producers the real artists the artists that are saying something um it doesn't always have to be necessarily a super duper positive message but it doesn't have to be perverse and 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 degenerate either you know what i'm saying so I think that's what Sherry Shepard was trying to say like there was kind of like a happy medium back in the day so Sexy Red didn't address any of these remarks. I don't think that there's anything to address, really. I understand. Sherry Shepard is 56. Sexy Red is, what, 20-something? 20, 20 and again, to two totally 
different demographics. And I, I wouldn't expect Sherry Shepard to have sexy red on her show. So I, I don't think it was shady. Um, but Charlemagne didn't have to bring sexy red up. Like he, he really didn't have to. And not to mention, she is going through a whole lot, a whole lot of herself. Okay. I don't know if you're aware, but recently her today, as a matter of fact, um, a very provocative video. Okay. That features sexy red and a dude was released all over circulating all over social media and she is heartbroken she says you know she says anyone that knows me knows that i wouldn't do no um goofy ish like that so and she had the heartbroken emoji with the crying face emoji and um some people are accusing her of leaking it um i find it very interesting that she was on a podcast supporting cheeto 45 i don't know if she was joking it seemed like she was being sarcastic but then again you never know you can support whoever you want and then shortly after that this embarrassing footage has been leaked now a lot of people are critiquing it i did not see it i didn't see a picture of it i don't want to know what it looks like i'm totally not interested um and interestingly the video was released on her Instagram stories from her account. So it made it look like she released this. Let me tell you something. Some of these entertainers, especially these plants, I don't believe nothing they say. I wouldn't be shocked if she released it herself. I wouldn't be surprised if it was hacked by the higher ups to further humiliate her. So I don't know. Either way, I don't see anything wrong with what Sherry Shepard said. Um, she's not interested in talking about anybody's booty hole. And like she said, she grew up in an era where things were left to the imagination. But social media has killed off a lot of people's imagination. That's something that doesn't exist for a lot of people, okay? They're told what is hot. They're told what to consume. So it's kind of like you are just programmed to like what the higher ups or what the masses tell you to like. Anyway. I don't see anything wrong with what Sherry Shepard said personally. She wasn't disrespectful. She wasn't rude. Charlamagne was trying to be messy. Sherry is a comedian. And if she doesn't want to have Sexy Red on her show, then so, so be it. If Wendy Williams was still on, Wendy Williams damn sure wouldn't have no Sexy Red on her show. Okay. All right, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. Until next time, talk to you later.